Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make some artificial cop car lights, you know. Anyway, so let's get started. First of all, I'm going to get a picture, file, import, file, and I'm just going to do this picture I have of uh, this STI right here. Okay, open that. Alright, now over here I'm going to click and drag into the uh, new comp. Make comp size automatically. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna come up to layer, new, solid, and uh, make sure it's black. And we'll type light, and choose OK. All right. Now we're gonna come to effect, generate lens flare. And over here we're gonna the lens flare type. We're gonna choose 105 millimeter prime and we're gonna line it up pretty straight it's pretty good okay and we're gonna come up to effect color correction curves we're gonna crush the black just a bit and we're also gonna apply effect color correction hue and saturation and we're gonna choose colorize uh, turn the saturation up to 70 or so and it looks pretty good okay now we're gonna get the transfer transfer mode transfer mode sorry change that if it's not up choose F4 and we're gonna change it to screen okay now we can move this around position it in front of the light you know whatever we're going for maybe maybe scale it down a bit so it's not too overpowering Anyways, looks, looks pretty good okay now we're gonna duplicate this control D or oops or edit duplicate and we'll move this over to the other light and we're gonna come over to the hue and saturation of the second light and we're gonna change the saturation up to 100 oops sorry that's 10 whoops 100 and we're gonna move the colorized slider until we get an, a good blue alright looks pretty good right there so already I mean you can see that we've created some pretty good light. Now if you wanted to, if this was going to be a night shot, you could apply the beams that would be on the ground right here. In this case, I don't think I really need to. I mean, you could. But, um, yeah, so now, I mean, and you can add as many lights as you want, you know. I mean, we could duplicate this and move this one down. And let's say move this one over here and move this one over here you know whatever you can hide them all sorts of places make it look like a undercover cop car anyway so now we're gonna come up here we're gonna select all of them we're gonna go to layer down to pre-compose and basically what this is gonna do is take all the layers you've selected and put them into a new comp so we're gonna title this police lights and move all attributes and choose OK and now it'll open up it's now we still are on this comp with the uh, the car however when you pre-compose we're gonna have to reset the transfer mode to screen again and now we're gonna uh, double click if you're in CS4 or alt click on the uh, layer and that'll take you into the second the pre-composed layer and we're gonna come to one of the lights choose T and we're going to alt click on the opacity stopwatch and over here we're going to type an expression so we'll do wiggle parenthesis 20 comma 2000 close parenthesis and so what that's going to do is it's going to it's going to randomly like it says wiggle the uh, opacity so the brightness of it so you can see how it kind of flashes it in a random pattern and uh, we're just going to do that to to all of them so I'll click on the next one type wiggle parenthesis 20 2000 and I'm just going to copy this I'll click on the next one paste and I'll click on the next one paste so there we go so now all the lights kind of randomly flash looks looks pretty good 
we can take if we want to maybe we can take the uh, the bottom two and we can maybe turn the brightness down to 85 or so so maybe 85 whatever whatever the effect you're going for okay now we're going to come back into the other comp and you can see that we have some pretty realistic looking lights if we wanted to we can move these two back just a little bit so they'll start you know a few seconds after you know anyways, so and then of course if you're going to use a video with it you can motion track it and uh make it create a null object and everything but and track it to the headlights but there's a basics how to do it using lens flare to make some artificial police lights so hope you enjoyed that